Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today I wanted to do a quick just overview and comparison of the Timber Creek uh, an anodized aluminum versus the Gun Tech anodized aluminum. Uh, as you can see in front of you, I have a purple AR that I, I really love how it turned out. I love the way it looks. Uh, but um, I just wanted to show a couple of things on it real quick as if you're even considering buying one of these. Um, I was not paid to use these parts. Uh, I was not given them for free. I absolutely paid for them myself. They are not cheap. Uh, you can definitely build a much less expensive AR probably with better parts than these. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a moment um, with comparison to the other AR I built. But uh, one of the concerns I had between the two was the color of the anodized uh, aluminum. So if you've ever worked with anodized aluminum before, um, I've never actually done any work, but I've bought a fair amount of things that are anodized. And the color can be all over the place, especially when you are going between different manufacturers, depending on their process, their procedures, their chemicals, whatever they're using to do the anod anodization, their colors can be quite a bit different. And there's a couple places where there is uh, gun tech pretty close to Timber Creek. Uh, specifically here, this is a Timber Creek and this is the gun tech. Again here, Timber Creek and gun tech. And these are Timber Creek. This is uh, gun tech. And so I'll just bring it closer to the camera. You can see, we'll start off with this. Now the first thing with this, with all the parts, is it is very easy to scratch off the anod anodization. Um, so this is not a gun that is going to look perfect um, forever. Uh, it The handguard did have a couple of flaws in it out of the box, but then I immediately chipped and scratched it myself. So I'm not gonna worry about that because uh, you know, I'm, I, I, it's just going to get worn. Uh, one thing I'm not thrilled with per se is the fitment of the handguard. So I've taken this apart and put it back together about a thousand times, I swear, uh, trying to get this to fit right with the barrel nut. Uh, and I just have not been able to get it to fit tight. Now that barrel nut is as tight as I can get it, but for it to be tight and the holes to line up for the screws so that it is as close as I can get it here. Um, see, there's just a little bit of a gap there. And with the hand guard I got very inexpensively uh, previously, you can see that fitment is significantly tighter. Uh, also, the barrel nut that came on this, um, that came with this hand guard, um, it, it was threaded on both sides. So one side fit better than the other. So I could reverse it to see which one fit better. And so I was able to get a really good fitment. Whereas the barrel nut that came with the gun tech was only threaded on one side. In fact, let me go grab, uh, they actually sent me a spare one. So this is the one that came with it. And as you can see, it is threaded on the one side, but not the other. And this is actually the first one that came with the handguard and it did not matter how I screwed this on with what shims I screwed this on, I could not get the holes to line up, period, with this um, barrel nut. So they sent me a, a replacement and it did line up, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. So, you know, for being so expensive, I would have liked to have been able to get a little bit better fitment. And I don't know if that's my Anderson upper, uh, but that the white one has exactly the same Anderson upper and it has, like I said, a much tighter, tighter fitment. So just something to note. Uh, same goes for the stock. Oh, it's really tight there. Whereas on my white one. So just things to note. Um, I haven't shot this yet because um, I don't have the bolt carrier group yet. It's on the way. Uh, if you're looking to order this, uh, maybe skip on ordering it from uh, Optics Planet. They're notorious for very low shipping and, or very slow shipping and telling you they have stuff in stock when they don't. The bolt I had ordered when I ordered it said it was in stock. And then I got an email like two days later saying it wasn't in stock and it's on back order. 
And then I asked them to cancel that order so I can order one that was actually in stock. And that took them three days to, to email me and let me know that they did that. And then I finally ordered one. Um, and it should be on the way, should be shipping today, supposedly. Uh, I went with one that's um, a chrome, so it'll be shiny instead of just black. No idea how that'll look, but I figured, um, not that anybody will see it, but this is the uh, uh, buffer that came with the gun tech parts. So anyways, uh, I need better sights. These are just cheap $25 ones off of Amazon. They're fine for shooting steel at, you know, 30 yards or whatever. Um, but they're not great. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a good but slightly inexpensive uh, uh, iron sights, let me know. Um, I don't want plastic ones. I don't think they'll look good. So I like actual metal iron sights that you think would look good on this gun. So anyways, short video, just doing the comparison. Um, again, I'll bring this up closer. You can see they're not exact, but they are pretty darn close that I think, you know, once it's, I have really bright lights on in here. So once you're out in the daylight or outside of this, oh, sorry, we have a new puppy. She's going crazy. Uh, outside of, uh, you know, a studio or whatever, you're not going to be able to see the difference. I mean, just looking between these two, there's as much variation between these two that came from the same company as there is between these two that didn't. So anyways, if you're looking at these kits and trying to figure out which one you want to buy, I bought the gun tech because I liked the honeycomb look. Really, that, that's the difference. Um, the um, Timber Creek was a bunch of triangles. Six one half does the other. I just like the look of this one. Uh, if somebody wants to send me the Timber Creek one and I can do a direct comparison of the handguard, uh, I'll, I'll take just the handguard and maybe the grip um, just to swap those out and see if, uh, if they're any better. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Uh, but otherwise, this is my purple AR. So uh, just a quick video. I uh, hope somebody finds this helpful down the road. Road. One thing I do have are my uh, purple mags to go with it. So um, just kind of funny. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.